Hot. We're hot, Chief. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new series called Beer Ant. I got to thinking about this thing. I was like, you know what? It's it's good times just sipping on a cold brew and talking about relics, uh, things of outdoor adventure, and whatever, just life. And I thought the perfect episode would be Beer and Fishing Reels featuring John B. Thank you for having me. Quick cheers. Um, so we're starting it off here with a bang. Starting off with the Coors Banquet. Yeah, good for, choice. For this video. For the inaugural beer yeah, and just a episode. Good... Coors Banquet. I got excited. This reminds me of uh, high school parties and basements. That's what this reminds me of. And this reminds me more of like, I'm out there on the range, the open yeah. range. Well, that's like, too, yeah. Kind of roping <laughs> steers. Yeah. Like tip your hat Getting type stuff. And, yeah. yeah, I usually drink Coors Original when I'm like on a outdoor fishing trip or hunt trip or something like that. Heat, this I feel like is more That's good. anything below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be talking about fishing reels today. John has a plethora of reels, mm. as do I on older stuff. And if you guys watch John's channel, you know that he's been dialed on a lot of JDM reels and a lot of yeah. just really good stuff. I think we're probably going to have a lot of similar, similar. Yeah. <laughs> reels. Unfortunately, we were just talking some of the really old ones that just kind of junked out on us. We've thrown away. In the lakes, like yep. dusted, don't even, I, there's some reels where I, I honestly have sleepless nights over because I don't know where they're at. Like they just disappeared. I've disappeared got a couple where well. I'm just like, how, why, and like where did it go? This one, it's funny you, you you chose me to do reels because I feel like that's one of the reasons why my channel kind of got reamped when I was in college. I started doing these reel reviews of like JDM reels. I spent a whole check, whole Google AdSense check, which by the way, back then wasn't that much, but I spent a whole check on uh, one reel one time. And uh, I ate ramen and PBJ for the rest of- For reels. Yeah, three weeks. Yeah, I bought one reel and it was the sickest reel ever. And unfortunately I traded it for another reel, but they both have good stories now. But you wanna just go reel for reel? Is that what you're Yeah, thinking? man. Uh, we'll just kind of speed through them quick here, guys. As a side note, uh, this series has no um, official backdrop or studio, but right <laughs> now we happen to be in John B's Tactical fishing garage. Yeah. We'll just start talking about it. You want to go like real for real? Like you pull you know out one, do? I pull out one? Yeah, I was going to say, I'll pull one of yours out. You tell me about it and then you Okay, pull. let's yeah, okay. do that. Where are yours, by the way? Uh, they're in here under oh, the- Oh, okay. Under our- Guggen cooler. <laughs> Guggen igloo cooler, by the way. Yeah. It's time for a, a freshie, a little refresher. Actually, I was going to say, mine's, look, mine's feeling a little yep, warm. Yeah, we need a refresher here. Just kind of a little conversation lubricant. Go ahead and unwrap that guy. Yeah. What's going on there? Let's hear about it. Right oh, okay. So th this is a Shimano Core. <sighs> I love this uh, so much. I, I want to say that's like an early 2000s Core. Yeah, I could actually, I, I think it was, let me think way back here. This I'm is, diving deep. I want to say this came out in 2012. This is 2012? one. Yeah, I'm gonna put. I okay. put. I put 10 grand on the fact that this came out in 2012. Okay, so I would have been wrong. An early 2000s. <laughs> but this is one of the only reels I've ever seen that when you open up the side plate to to extract it's beautiful. the spool, it's beautiful. Uh, there is a. Um, there, that, that's actually locked in there mm -hmm. through a tightening of. Uh, there's like a wheel. I've never seen that. It keeps on any the other spool reel. from coming out. Yeah. So this actual side plate, I know this because I've had a lot of problems. This actual side plate doesn't do anything other than cover your centrifugal brakes and stuff like that. Sorry, I don't know why I'm talking. This is your reel. I just uh, I, yeah. the reason why I, I picked why. this one is because I love this reel. <laughs> this is one of my favorite reels of all time. Period. There was a guy on Fork back when I was guiding that was he was like trading some stuff. I, I don't know. I ended up doing the, a trade or something for a couple of reels, and this happened to be in there. Always known for being a really light reel, mm. light spools made for casting light lures. And, you know, I'm not going to say the toughest reels on the planet because everything's built to be so light. But this was like the first ultra light reel it's that like I had. It's a $340 reel. Yeah. MSRP brand Major new. at the yeah. time. It's not like it's I purchased it. I did it in expensive. a trade. Yeah. So it was it was big time, and this was this was big at the time. Six two to one gear ratio. It's fast. Yeah. <laughs> Six two to one. Do you remember when they came at the out time? with the uh, MG seven too? The, yeah, the MG seven. Yeah. yeah, that was huge too. Oh, that was whoa, like whoa uh, seven. That was four hundred dollars, I think. Yeah. I didn't know. 
Uh, but this was like my first really expensive reel, made in Japan, says on the, on the bottom plate there. Um, and honestly, I kind of put it away because I've got newer cores. Well, the weird thing about those reels too, not to drag on, is it's made out of magnesium. So whenever, personally, I had an MG7, sure. whenever you feel a bite, you feel it in the reel. Not saltwater ready reels, they're very yeah, you don't want to take that water. But like it being magnesium, you feel it through the rod and the reel. And that dude, that's my favorite reel, period. Like there's no better reel than that. Really what cool. And by the way, guys, you're probably gonna see a lot of Shimano and Daiwa yeah. uh, in this mix because in my opinion, I don't know about you, John, but I think yeah. Shimano and Daiwa make the best reels. I think they the also world. made the best reels. I think they're doing an okay job now. They did an insanely good job yes. half a decade ago. So I am holding right now what I believe to be Frankenstein. a Cronark of some sort. No. What really? is this? It's a Sitica. It's an old Sitica 200E. A Sitica 200E made in Japan. That's bad. That's what I. That's what I said. That they used to be excellent. Now they're just okay. okay. So that was a hundred and twenty dollar reel. Here, to make in Japan. you explain it. You've got everything scratched out on this yeah. thing. But I figured once <laughs> I saw Japan, it had to be. This is, yeah. Because nowadays, just so you guys know, when you buy a Shimano reel, uh, Corrado yeah. is not even made in Japan. A lot yeah. of times, it's it's. Um, uh, I think it's it starts at Cronark is, is yep. what's made in Japan, and then the rest that they'll outsource. But back in the day, they even made their lower uh, grade reels in Japan, and that means better quality, lower price. Yeah, Jap the, the Japan engineering does not like skip, right? I mean, that's kind of the, the whole mentality. Samurai, yeah. ultra metallurgy. Uh -huh. This is like their last renaissance for reels, and specifically like Shimano reels. This is an old Sitica. You get this thing for $200. Now they would probably charge you $300 for the quality of components that you get yeah. this reel. There's an old Sitica I had, I think I got, I had, a, I had a few Siticas. I think I bought this one after they discontinued at like some little mom and pa tackle store in Ohio. And it fell off, I, I was fishing in my grandparents lake and it fell off the side by side and uh, it just got dusted. Yeah, so, it's missing it. <laughs> yeah, it, so it missed, it, the handle got crushed. So I took a handle off of an old Daiwa Acceler which was like a $70 reel that yeah. had also gotten dusted internally. Put it on there, worked for a little bit, then somehow this came off. I, <laughs> I don't even really know. One of the knobs came off, but um, even those old Daiwa accelerators, which again, weren't necessarily like cream of the crop, they were made really well, like bearings in the knobs, like just super awesome reels. And you could call this a Frankenstein, uh, Frankenstein setup. And the reason why I've got all the, the branding scratch out there is because I was uh, at the time parting ways with Shimano and I was angsty and uh, I, <laughs> yeah. there was no bad blood. I just was like, you know, I just didn't want to promote a company that des didn't necessarily want to help me out. Uh, but they are good people and they obviously make really good reels and can't deny that. Can't deny that. But I mean, centrifugal braking, like dude, <sighs> what series was that? Was that, that was, so this was, it was an E series. It was E. Yeah. So okay. the green Corrado was, this was basically the, a green this Corrado. This was the last yeah. renaissance. You could get a Corrado, e. but for cheaper. Right. And it was the Sitica. That was basically it. Yeah, yeah and it's a great reel. And like, dude, this aluminum frame, you could run this over with your diesel truck and it would probably still be fine. So I saw that in the, that in the D series as well. Which if, oh, if yeah, you want to cool. pull another one of those. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, out. so I'm really interested in this actually. I saw this okay. initially and was like. The Zillion. I was gonna say, this is a Zillion, isn't it? This is a Daiwa Zillion right here. Uh, when I started fishing professional tournaments, and getting serious about guiding fishing tournaments and all that, I decided to purchase some nice bougie. That's I, I, very nice. I, I want to say like this was an upper three hundred yeah. level at the yeah. time, two seventy, two eighty. Yeah. Still to this day, probably one of the most solid like tank built reels I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. uh, these things are just about bulletproof. They're heavy, um, but. Daiwa and Sh Shimano just over the years of competing against each other made some awesome stuff on their yeah. higher end. Yeah. And this this zillion was <laughs> the knobs too. They're still perfectly fine. Dude, like, everything. I mean, I have put these things through the ringer. You can see there's no paint mm -hmm. on the front. Um I've I don't even think I've ever cleaned this thing. Yeah, that's how they were made though. I never I never I've literally never cleaned any of my old Shimano's. Never. So um, you're happy with that reel? I was very happy yeah. with this reel. I never had one. That was one reel that I always wanted and I never got a chance to even use. I never even used one of those. This one right here, I can literally give my 
my son or daughter and Can I try that? Sure that, yeah. I've literally never I remember being at like Bass Pro Shop and asking if I could like and then the worst part about it was I had to give it back. Like, can I just try you this reel out <laughs> and feeling me like, sorry, son. One day, yeah. Good on battery? Also too, made in Japan, isn't that funny? Yeah, so I, I would say any yeah. reel that you see that says made in Japan is gonna have some quality. It's, it's back when instead of Daiwa, it was Team Daiwa. Do you remember that? It wasn't even Daiwa, it was, it was TD, it was Team Daiwa. We have a left-handed. That one's got history. <laughs> Okay, a Metanium MG DC, so another yeah. magnesium. Same real right basically, here. basically like a core. That. Yes, it's a core. So this was so it's so funny, like Ooh. weirdest transition that's I ever sexy. saw. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like that pearl, like that's what I like I like a sports car be painted. Yeah. Little on a reel. Um so I bought one of these reels, I think it was when I was in college. It was like my first year of college. It was a righty. It was a DC I'm, Metanium DC MG7, which meant 7 to 1. And uh, I loved it so much, I then saved up a little more. I got a left handed reel for some reason. They, at the time, they were discontinued. They've been around for a minute. But what was weird is like, this is the same exact reel as what you have there, only it's got a DC chip in it. And back then, you couldn't get DC reels unless they were shipped from Japan mm -hmm. or from some overseas, you know, like Australia or something like that. So this was like, so, like nobody had stuff like this, or if they did, it was like super uncommon. And now there's SLX DCs, Corrado DCs, so this was super special. Uh, this one in particular is left hand, it's a 6.2 to one. I use this for cranking. It's like, a, if Versace made a reel, it would look exactly like this, like a pearl paint job. It's light, six something, 6.7 ounces. That's, it's a dainty, it's a fragile yeah. kind of dainty reel. The funny thing about this particular one that you picked is this handle right here, uh, it looks aftermarket. It is aftermarket. It was. It's a ZP again Japanese. It's a ZPI carbon fiber handle. They used to sell these things. I think they still do for like a hundred and fifty dollars. Like the handle <laughs> itself. So there was this guy that I, I don't even know his name really. He was he was a dude who said, "Hey, if you promote these handles, I'll give you a few." And I was like a kid. He said, "I'll give you these handles if you promote them." And I'm like, "Bet." So he gave me a few of these ZPI handles. After a while, I kind of realized like I've got all these expensive reels. I don't need them, so I'm just gonna start auctioning off. I had like I had like a just a I don't want to say this, but like a Peric moment. Right? I just don't need any of this stuff. Like I don't need like expensive reels. I want to Relics. dumb down. Yeah. yeah. So I, I sold a lot of my old stuff, and I was doing a, an auction for charity, and I like auctioned off some of these reels. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one couple of them went up above like. $9,000, they weren't legitimate bidders, which sucked. <laughs> it was super embarrassing. Weird scenario, but this is one of the last reels from that kind of John B. Well, I I, sloth era. I, I like know? this unique. Yeah, and I don't use it. it. It's a great reel, but I just, I don't reel lefty that much anymore. It's I like getting a Chevelle or something with a unique exhaust or engine, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it also sits in your garage and it collects dust because it's not practical. But it's got stories, man. Yeah, it, That's yeah, why we're doing it this. Gosh, you know exactly what this is. Way go. Yeah, that will fall go. <laughs> Oh, Another reel that I always wanted this anymore. to clean. No, uh, they actually do. I have one. Do they? It is, it is, it is like peanuts compared to that reel. And so I like the zillion, and then I ended up picking up this reel because I, it was a little bit lower price, but still made in Japan. Uh, I even put red braid on it, and this was like my frog it's flashy. Rock. It's flashy yeah. reel. Basically, it's still on that zillion frame. Yeah. Just, I don't think it has the exact same components. There's probably a little bit more internal yeah. upgrades on, on the Zillion. It's Fuego. Good go. <laughs> Fuego, spicy. And spicy. they even made it red. Uh, but it, yeah, it has the exact same setup as, as the Zillion. But this is one of the one of the reels I used when I was guiding on fork and, you know, tournament fishing. And um, I don't even, I put it away at some point. It still looks like it's, all it's these got reels, some pop, man. The core, the zillion, that, they all <laughs> seem like they work this nicely. This reel feels really, really good, yeah. honestly. Daiwa Fuego. 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 Okay. That one's interesting. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Let's talk about not it. Not a whole lot of history on this other than, I think it's more his, more, more regret and less history. It looks I, like a 1920s reel. It looks what old, is going doesn't on? it? Yeah, so this is- Round face. Again, super into the JDM reels, things of that nature. It says right there, made in Japan. Uh, it's a monoblock especial, or special, not a special, monoblock special, which is, it's like a, it's a Daiwa, but it's a, it's like if Megabass came along and said, hey, Daiwa, 
we want to use your technology and yeah. our engineering and our, our, you know, like our components and make this ultimate reel. This is a thousand dollar reel. So I bought this for a video just for the title saying, gotcha. I'm fishing with an, like a thousand dollar reel. Gotcha. But I know what that mono block is meaning. Yeah. Because that is cut from one, one piece single, of aluminum. Yeah, exactly. Then that's what that that's is. That's why it's so expensive. And it's uh, it's Edo engineered, and Edo I think is or I forget his full name, something Edo, but he owns and basically is like the he's like the Henry Ford of uh, Mega Bass. And uh, always one of the one of one I've always wanted one of these reels until I finally got one, and they are just like extremely impractical. Yeah, probably. Like, could you imagine slow, using too. this? Yeah, this is like a six three to something and then this reel is not that old like this is not like a very uh old reel it looks old but it's not and i used it in a few videos it's like a sh some sherlock holmes type it's stuff. a centerpiece <laughs> yeah, it's like what is it called it's like steampunk almost yeah yeah so it i caught a few fish in this and called it a day it's very sad i hate to admit it but yeah. it looks like you beat it up too I'll just i'll just use actually look at that arm it's yeah. a showpiece what, what, what do we got spinning. going here spinning. oh my hang on i don't know about don't know about that Acceler? Is that an Acceler? No, this... Yeah, okay, yeah, let's do an Acceler. When I started fishing pretty seriously, um, I got in... I didn't have a nice spinning reel. I just thought spinning reels were basically coffee grinders and there was no use for them. Yeah. Except when I started guiding, I realized people couldn't, like, always fish with bait casters. Yeah. And then I started realizing they will literally break if they're a piece of crap. Yeah. Daiwa and Shimano make incredible spinning reels guide guide client ready type yeah shit you know like not this one i don't mean what kind of braid is on here this is uh, what, what the hell do you i don't know it looks like a tan braid i i seriously think i took that off a reel from lake fork guiding and never used it again i think it's locked up <laughs> is it real yeah sure okay Dude, this thing's minty the it thing is real? it may be made in china but like it's that golden era of fish oh the no, not the, not that the uh, China makes some good reels too. This yeah, is over a decade old. Yeah, the anti reverse is kind of out, but this is just one of those ones I picked Very up. Real. I had heard that hey, Daiwa makes really good spinning, spinning reels, yeah. and then still true. I think. It, it, no, it absolutely is true. But the Acceler, I just don't think is a top notch. It doesn't but, excel as hard as it, its name implies. No, but, yeah. uh, but uh, honestly, a really good spinning reel can change the game, like for your finesse game. It can change it, and I didn't even realize that until I, I this was like a really nice reel for me yeah. at, at the time, and then I got into some more like high-end spinning reels, but at the time, this was it. The, uh, I've got a lot of Daiwas on this. Like, I know, I just realized you, that you picked out a lot yeah. of Daiwas. Well, I pick up, because I was so into Daiwa back then, and then I later realized that there was moments where Shimano without Trump Daiwa, and it was on reels like the core and... I like the competition though. It. Um, Keeps things spicy. So here is a Daiwa. There's a Daiwa. Newer Daiwa. TWS Fat Handle McGee. Yeah. What do you got going on there? So this is actually a, it's a Daiwa Coastal. It's a saltwater reel. And I bought this last year. It's not a very old reel. This doesn't have a ton of history, but it's important to me because this is like the first reel that I started using when I uh, realized that in Texas, 25 pound test fluorocarbon That's a thing. is a thing. Yeah. I grew up my whole life using nothing more than honestly 17 pound tests. Yeah. Like period. Cause I grew up in Illinois and once I moved down here and started flipping heavy buck, buck brush and fishing gnarly rock piles for fish that are north of, you know, five, six, seven pounds. It's like, that's a thing. So this reel has got a ridiculous amount of line capacity. If I were to strip this all the way down, you've got one of those really, you know, those like really skinny spools almost. This thing was mint, and it's a, I mean, you felt it. it's like eight ounces, like it's a light reel, seven, three to one, and it, you know, again, if you're into looks, it's pretty real, I think it's gorgeous. It sounds like a horse getting hit by a semi whenever you cast it, but it's, yeah, it's it's not good, but it, I love this reel. And it's a, it's a dive, so. Got some beef? Yeah, wait, how good does it look next to that Fuego, too? Oh, all right, I got another one for you. What's, oh. Here's another blue reel. Oh so we'll go back-to-back -back blue reels. I'm, you, yeah. You've picked out every Daiwa yeah. in the bunch? I want to hear about that one. I don't want to ask so, you, does it still work? Uh, no. <laughs> it, well, the actual reel function does work, but the v Viento. Mm -hmm. So the reason I got this uh, is Those because... so weird. Made in Korea, it says. So this is a sub-factory. Uh, sub yeah. But 
wacky Briggs back when oh, Fork dude, was the idea is grass. there. The idea is there, dude. Okay, so what what you would do with this reel, y'all, is it, this this thing would come up and you would literally just do this right here. Like you would just never use your thumb. with your thumb, and then and when it's cold, you just put your hand in your nice toasty pocket, and you just do one of these right here. Now the clutch is like broken on it now, but you would literally just do that, and, and it would pop up. Such and just, a good idea. Yeah. Terrible design. Terrible design. Couldn't come through with the design, but I literally would have customers and, and put a wacky rig on. I was like, just. Hit this little yeah. pump bar. Yeah. That's all you got to do. <laughs> Just it push the start. Yeah. Gives you a little pump, and that's all you have to do. And um, you know the reel would it, it held up. It was just that that clutch just broke. So you know, cool, fun design, but execution I had a, just not there. I had they made a so the Viento was like the grandfather, but apparently not a very good grandfather to that. I think it was the they had a reel called the Mag Dawa the Mag Z or Acceler Mag Z or something like that. And uh, I still have one, and it still works. Still working. Yeah, still the, twerking. The 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 twerk button, the Cinco twerk button, still <laughs> Cinco works. Twerk button. And I feel like 300 years from now, that'll be like a relic, because that that was pretty ambitious back then. That's like almost as ambitious as like putting the DC chip, digital chip, or uh, digital control chip in like a reel. You got one more over here. Yeah, we got there. That's, that's the last one. Wow. Yeah. You have you seen those? Cadillac. I've never fished one yeah. of these. Uh, that thing looks spaceship-like. It is. I think the reason why this this reel is here now is because some sort of alien life form touched down <laughs> a few years ago <laughs> and, and gave uh, us the technology. Gave us the technology. This is the same technology that sent Neil Armstrong to the moon. Was, That's incredible. Is that an Antares? It is. It's an Antares. Uh, it's called a. So they called it. Antares MD, which trans stands for Monster Drive. Is that straight JDM? Or oh, is, or is like, this? this is hand forged by like the owner. Samurai? Yeah, like Samurai is <laughs> the owner of Shimano himself. So this is like, this That's was incredible. at the time, still is to this day, like this at the time was like the cream of the crop. So like DC reels before, um, you know, like take for example, like this, this was the DC reel back then. Small spool, 100 size spool. Not very good drag, kind of dusty, couldn't use these in salt water. Just you, the first few times you used in salt water, it would just corrode, fall to bits. This was the first ever DC reel that you could use in salt water, and that I think had 150. Wow. No, even bigger. Good I think good. it was like a 200 size, 150 size, or 175 size spool. I bought this for my. For how much? Oh my God, dude. 700? Yeah, 700 dollars. <laughs> yeah. But it's, I mean, if you're if you're gonna buy one reel and rely on that reel for the rest of your life, I've had so many questions asking, if you could buy one reel for the rest of your life, what would you buy so that it would be that one reel you could rely on? Like, well, it'd be like your your diesel truck reel, right. and it's yeah, yeah, an Antares. Yeah. DC or not, Antares yeah. I've seen the last like 15 years. I would I would concur with that because They're insane. I, have, I have some, so you guys watching, if I don't have any of my new reels in here. My new reels are in my boat, but I have, uh, an Antares or two, yeah. and old. I, I don't even know if I've cleaned them. No, but you don't need to. They just Period. go. And I bought it for peacock bass fishing, and it absolutely. You use it for peacock bass? Oh, it, dude, it stopped fish. It stopped. Seriously, it stopped 15, 16 pound. But so it's got an absurd drag, like uh, upper twenties, yeah, mid twenties. I mean, I mean here, let's do this. That's awesome. Just try. <laughs> it's ridiculous, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's Dude, very that's stiff. spaceship technology. I know. Wow. And it's digital. It's DC. I think when I went to the Amazon, I took that? my Calais DC. Yeah. Which is another one of those same like, concepts, essentially. Yeah. Lifetime type deals. It's, so. a it's 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 an old Cadillac. That's what you know, like you were saying earlier. It's a little Chevy. So I don't I don't have any of those reels with me, guys. I got most of my old reels. So let's pick out some old juicies. This one specifically because this is one of my favorite reels. The D. Yeah. There so uh, back in the day, this is the D series from Shimano. This thing is literally a tank. I, it is. Yeah. It's a I think probably the. <laughs> it's a Panther. It's probably the heaviest reel they made. Uh, bulky, wide. I almost want to say bigger than the original, like Green Corrado that yeah. made them. You know, on the map, famous. I love these side plate. Like they, the side plate where you just reverse engine, like, like how, quarter click it, it how pops. Do, you know what I'm saying? Like that, that's beautiful. 
Why did they? I don't know. Go I don't backwards. Shimano. <laughs> Dial so weird. What are you doing? Yeah. Why? You, okay, okay. The other day we were fishing. Yeah. Yeah. My, and and one of my four hundred dollar Aldebarans or whatever. I wasn't even trying to open that, you know, right? Like I was like literally yeah. just I, was, I I grabbed the reel and then I just all of a sudden I watched your side plate to a four dollar reel just go in the water. Just because, falls in the water. But that's that was a reel that was probably what six or seven years old, like newer than that one. Yeah, yeah absolutely. This this reel is really old. It's it a, has that that side plate when 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 I saw that when when you could just click that off and. Um, you know, it's just super easy to connect, disconnect, it's adjust huge brakes. Pool too. Look at the huge size pool. Of this I mean, you could probably put a thousand yards on here. It feels yeah. like yeah. it's a giant, uh, giant spool. And at the time, this this is the D8. This is the high gear ratio. It's a seven to one. At DSV the time. is that what it is? Yeah, high gear ratio. That seven to one at the time was high gear ratio. But uh, I could. Give this thing a little loop, spool it up right yeah. now, and it would just it would just be fine. That's one of the reels I have nightmares about. I lost <laughs> it, and I don't know where it's at. And I, when I saw it in your it box, sinks. it's heavy. It's an anchor. If you lose your anchor, you can use your Shimano DSV for you. You could yeah, for drift sock or an anchor or something like that. Thing it is, gives you no sensitivity on your rod. No, like it is very no. it's clunky. It's meant for bash. It's a perfect Texas reel. Honestly, it's meant for bashing heads yeah. and. I'm sure you made 40 pound bags or call it that real Head probably a man. lot. So I think we're, I think we're out on yours. Let's yeah. just explore a couple more yeah. of, of mine because I've got, Let's do this. Do you Let's want go. to do some originals? Okay. Let's so. go way retro. Okay. Surely this is not yours or is it? So I want to, okay. And one of these is the, the first real. So let's pick the one that's got the most history. Like what's that? Is okay. that a Procaster? So I have two here. I have two Bantams right here. Oh, they're both Bantams. Okay. These are like 80s Bantams. Yeah, I was gonna say, those are old, old. This is pre uh, Corrado. This was my dad's reel. This was like his big purchase on his boat, his Terry Bass boat that he had. He passed this uh, on to me. I mean, he's still living today, but he passed this on to me when I started bass fishing, like going around the ponds. He's like, here's a, a, probably a fiberglass rod on the thing. Yeah. Um, and, and gave this to it's me. It's like a rite of passage though, having your Dad, Dude, who fish this pass on. Dude, pass amazing. On you. Uh, it's a, it says, design port for professionals, enge uh, engineered Bantam Mag SG. Dude, this thing is probably Dude. five to three one gear ratio. What it is, is so slow. The anti reverse. Japan, no? Japan, yeah, yeah, no, it's made in Japan. The anti reverse on it is That's terrible. Incredible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Just, like if you cast that thing out, I used to stand on the shores wow. of Lake Grapevine and cast out a one ounce slab spoon for white bass. Magnetic that thing bash that when I was in junior high and high school. And I would cast Even it out. Even back then it was and, rough? It, oh yeah, it was yeah. rough. It, it, the, the real handle would literally slap back on your fingers. The anti-reverse on it is that bad. Painful. But that was my first, um, Yes, you would call it a Corrado experience, but the Bantam. The click is really still, smooth. Still though. right. Do you feel that? Yeah. It, like, well, it's, it's still like, good. It's like turning the AC up to, on like a, like a Mercedes <laughs> Benz. Like it's really smooth. Again, made in Japan. Wow. Like every reel I've ever picked up, uh, made in That's Japan. That's sick. Really solid. I mean, everything still, still works. Thing is you can still, I was going to say, you can still use that. You could still use this, but you would be, you would be disappointed. <laughs> You'd be disappointed, <laughs> but you can still use it. And I love the spool release too. It's like this big, like yeah, big. Imagine doing that when it's cold side, today. like just <laughs> gotta push it down, and then the, the real handle is like literally two inches. Oh, interesting. So I okay. Yeah, I know this video is dragging on right now. I literally have more reels than we can even talk about, but I do just want let's let's pull out one more. Last one. Yeah. Yeah, find you pick it. one. On. I gotta you pick find one it. that's meaningful. You'll appreciate it. Okay. This is the reel that I literally, I just relied on. Like if I had a go-to lure, yeah. I, if I had a tournament and there was one tactic that I was like, okay, this is, I'm dialed on this. I picked up this reel and it wow. was <laughs> the Corrado Bantam Super Free. Yeah. Look at the paint. Yeah. Destruction. Wow. That was a Super Free spool, spool from Shimano. Yeah. I mean, that's the Corrado that like, Put Shimano on the map. I think. I guess it was the first. Minty. Like, oh, the drag's heavy. Minty. The drag's heavy. Uh, it, um, the the side plate does fully disconnect. Did they clip on the Yeah, I think. Uh, I don't know if all of them. 
Yeah, they all, they, all the Corrados did that. Yeah, this the centrifugal six, uh, the six pin, yeah, six pin. centrifugal brakes. Missing, missing one, but am I is. missing one? Yeah, I'm not that's not surprised. that's not that that's not that bad for a real of I'm how yeah, how much has been used. But so this sick. this reel was built so well. This was this is seriously one of the most sold outdoor items ever, besides the Coleman Lantern. The Corrado was? The Corrado, I really? think, is number two for the most sold outdoor item ever. This series. And uh, what series would that be? Would that be A? No. Or B? See, the reason why... I th well, it would have been B, but I think the reason why this is the first Corrado is because it's... it's In got Japan. The, it, it's got CU200BSF, I think. So that's a B. I don't think... I don't think there was anything before the B. I don't think. I don't know. I'm I don't know. Sure this was the first Corrado. Okay, look, so look at the was there an A? Real quick, look at that. Oh, dude, this was this is one of those reels That's where you ridiculous. pick it up on the counter and you and you and you spin the spool and you press the release yeah. and that thing just goes. Wow! And it just blew people's minds. So the super free, um, and that was my first big purchase Jesus. as a young adult, and I used that on tournaments for a long, long time. And you still probably could. Literally, <laughs> yeah. still could. Yeah. It's such a slow gear ratio, and the anti-reverse isn't as good as, as today's reels, but that is wicked. If you guys are wondering where we draw inspiration from for fishing reels, um, you know, we're in the fishing industry now, and, you know, you know I, we have the opportunity to build fishing reels here in the future. This is where me and John are drawing, yeah. <laughs> drawing our inspiration Rack from. has been using reels <laughs> and just fishing gear period longer than I have in general, but, like... I used to, dude, I used to lose my mind over here. I was like, for no reason to, looking back, it was like so goofy, but it was also like, it's what kept me going, it's what kept me interested in it. Like, I'd pick up reels, I'd mess with reels, I'd build, I used to tear apart reels and then build them back up. I used to take like Daiwa Strike Forces and I used to take them all apart and see if we could put them back together. Like, this is what I love. I love gear and it's, it's just an appendix of the sport that makes it interesting, especially growing up in Illinois when you couldn't, you know, open water fish for basically four months. Oh yeah. I used to get lock in into my room, sharpening hooks, like polishing off my, I didn't used to clean my rods like with Windex and stuff, but this was cool, man. Thank you for having me on the show. I'm excited to see what the Absolutely. next one's all about. And um, yeah, man, cherish your gear. It's uh, it's funny how a lot of these, these hard, like a lot of these pieces of hardware, even though they're just tangible objects, they hold sentimental value. Especially for me, and I know after watching you talk about some of these reels, it's definitely the other It's really cool. Don't same. throw away your old gear. No. If you're not? using why? fishing reels, rods now, hang on to them because. Give them away if you're going to get rid of them. Yeah. You know, give, give them to your cousin, people your that are using brother, them. your sister, you know. Stuff but like that. people that, are, that will appreciate them. But man, a lot of, a lot of cool stories. Can't think of a better yeah. guest to have on the Thanks, first man. one of beer and, and beer fishing and reels. Old Cheers, dusty my guys. Reels. Cheers. Can't awesome. Wait, can't wait to be on the next one. So let us know in the comments what you guys want to see next for Beer And, and we will continue the series. Very nice, my friend. Thank you. Catch sir. you on the next one. Give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you.